Now with our GMA cover story and school's out for some for summer and it's time for some fun in the sun. But how do we avoid a learning loss for kids? Parenting expert Erica Suter is joining us. Erica, it's so great to always have you, especially when you're the lime to my lemon this morning. <laughs> so how I mean, we know it is so important to keep kids on track during the summer months with their learning. Why, though? Just reiterate it and how. Right. Do well, first of all, I should tell you why it's so important to avoid the summer slide. What we found is that kids are more anxious, uh, depressed, and stressed when they get back to school and there's learning loss and they don't know where to begin and they feel behind. So it's really important. There are just little things that parents can do to help prep them for the new school year. One, you want to keep a schedule. You know, have them get up at 9.30, have breakfast, and then have something planned, whether it's in the house or out of the house. You want to keep a reading list during the summer. A lot of schools offer them, but parents can also create them and even early readers can take part in this and you can use online educational apps my family loves IXL or you can have your older kids take an online summer course it could be in cooking or origami or anything that they're interested in but it keeps them active and motivated and lastly don't ignore that summer packet. I have been guilty of pulling it out on August 30th and going through 50 pages <laughs> right. yes. of work. Don't do that. Do three to five pages a week, and it keeps them active, and it keeps them interested in learning. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was a kid, I had that deep separation anxiety when I was going to school for the first time. It's still traumatic because I remember it. <laughs> How do you prepare kids for something like that and to deal with that kind of anxiety? Well, there's a lot of anxiety going into camp, right? Not every kid is excited about going away to sleepaway camp for five weeks or even going to day camp for the first time. So you want to help prep your kids. It doesn't mean that you want to take away all the hardship. We want kids to be put in uncomfortable situations that are safe where they build up their skill sets. But if your kid's really worried about some camp, ask them what it is that they're worried about. A lot of kids are afraid of making friends. So then you can work together to figure out how do you do conversation starters or how do you find kids who are interested in the same things you are. But you also want to make sure that you communicate everything that they'll be experiencing at summer camp. Lots of camps have lists of what the day will be like, what the food options will be, what all the activities are. So let make sure that the kids know that. And then you also want to focus on the benefits that they'll have. Mm -hmm. They'll learn new skills. They will make friends. They'll have a lot of fun. Um, and then lastly, you want to model confidence for them. If you're anxious and nervous about their camp experience, yeah. they're going to feed off that and they're going to be more anxious mm -hmm. and nervous. Parents never get anxious about these things. Yeah. Oh, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Everything's <laughs> fine, kids. Anxiety. Everything's fine. Just get in the car. Um, all right. What about the kids who are staying home while their friends are away? What are some things that you can do to prevent loneliness and boredom? Right. You know, ever since the pandemic, parents are on high alert for loneliness and depression in their kids. And so they want to make sure that they stay connected. One of the best ways to do this is helping them find a summer job. And don't just say, go find a job. Help be a partner in this process. Give them a list of places to reach out to. Help them with their resume. You also want to encourage them to have an interest or a hobby that has nothing to do with their friends. You know, something they can do on their own that makes them feel good about themselves. And lastly, you, know, you can find a volunteer opportunity where they can connect with other like-minded teens and do something that they really care about. I like that. That's great. That's and boredom great. isn't always bad. Boredom is reminder. not bad. <laughs> I could use a little more of that right? in my life yeah. for sure. <laughs> Erica, thank you so much. We appreciate it as always.